3D. It's Thursday, May 7th. I hope you had fun yesterday with the wand, the Wonder Wander Wellness Wednesday, and I hope you found some activities that maybe um, you, would, you didn't try before and that you found really insightful and fun. So let's look at today's activity for activities for Thursday for your different assignments. Just a reminder, we're posting on our May e-learning slideshow. Your April slideshow should be in your April folder. Um, and hopefully all of you responded to my comments just to say okay or I will do that. Anything just to show me that you read my comments that I recap every week. Remember to go to your specials websites, continue any questions on our palette or email. Let's look at our Zoom schedule for today. So happy birthday, August. Uh, today, August, wow, um, we're going to celebrate your birthday. And everyone, you know, bring a joke. We'll have five people share today. So we probably won't get to the birthday celebration until about 1130. So 11 o'clock, Mr. Casal is going to work with us to just look at our Gmail a little bit more closely and our Google um, Calendar app so that you can import all of your Zoom um, Zoom schedules that I have put in. So we'll go over that with Mr. Casal. So around 1130, we'll celebrate August's birthday, and then we'll continue. We'll look at today's activities, especially for science. There's probably a couple of questions you might have for science. So we'll go over all of that. Afterwards, I would like to meet with one um, book club group. Um, so number 1, 12, 15, 16, and 19. I just want to touch base with you. I'll be doing that. I might be switching gears just for book club groups um, in the next few days for our small groups just to touch base and see and talk about your Padlet post and your bingo activities. At 1.45 to 2.15, you have music. And also, boys and girls, we have this Weinberg Nature Center opportunity. There's webinars um, that will take place the next... Um, I don't know if it's six more, but on Thursdays, there is a bit of a conflict. Um, we have music till 2.15, and the webinar stores at, starts at 2 p.m. So after music, if you want to jump on to this, I have everything on your Zoom chart. You might want to jump on to the 2 p.m. webinar, and it goes to 2.30. And down below, I'll go over the animals that you will see at the Nature Center's webinar. So this week is mammals, and then every week it's something different different. It might be reptiles. It might be birds. Um, so this week is mammals. Also with the webinar, just keep in mind, you will be muted automatically and you won't see yourself on the screen. You will only see the person who's presenting. So you will be muted. They can see you, but you won't see others. So um, enjoy that time and hopefully um, you learn a lot about mammals during this webinar. And Ms. Sorensen, she will read you a book at um, 2.30, so that's up to you if you want to jump on to that or take a break. Tomorrow, tomorrow is um, Spirit Day, so what we decided um, at Heathcote is to do celebrate Spirit Day with our buddies. So we will have a dance party with Go Noodle with our buddies, so it will be a lot of fun for those siblings that have buddies. You can just join on one Zoom. You don't need to... Um, go on two separate computers here, but from 12 to 12.15, come dressed in Heathcote spirit wear, and we will dance for 15 minutes and celebrate our spirit day. Also, um, we're going to be continuing about book club Padlets. Um, I'm noticing the amount of effort that's going into the Padlets isn't um, what we typically do in the classroom, and I know the e-learning is difficult, but I need you to push yourself and really think more deeply. A lot of you are just reporting, you know, listing who the characters are, but you need to push yourself further. You need to use text evidence. What is the character saying? What is the character doing that supports your theory on their character traits? So a lot of your character's column really need a little bit more work. You should be adding more to each column each day as you are reading on Mondays and Wednesdays from your notes because you should have a reading notebook beside you where you're making your story mountain, where you're making charts for your secondary characters, where you're making your charts tracking your character's feelings. So with those notes, then you're going to add them to your Padlet to really add those that rich thinking you have about your characters and the relationships on your palette 
so you can discuss it on Friday in your book club. Some of you have added some themes, which is great. So remember a theme, you're thinking not only about, you don't need to give text evidence from the book. The theme is something that applies to everyone in life, um, the big message, not just to, from your character. So we'll be going over this more closely and really working on our reading and writing work through our, our book club assignments. So each assignment should really take about 13 minutes. So your book, your bingo board activity should take really a good 15 minutes and then take a picture of it and talk over it so we can see the wonderful details. A lot of you are holding up your activities and then talking and it's moving and we can't see it. Take a picture of it um, because then we can really appreciate the hard work that you did. Okay, so Miss Mangan will continue to talk about theme with our bingo board. Um, activity 17 is the one that we want you to complete for today. So watch her video, and she also shares a graphic organizer that we would like you to use today to help you with this. So with this graphic organizer, fill it out, and then I think this will help you with your bingo board number 17 today. Okay, now after watching the video, if you really don't feel like 17 works for you today, then pick a different board. But remember to identify the name and number of the activity you're completing. Many students are forgetting this and it's really hard for us to know if you completed the assignment correctly if we're not clear which board you did. So it's really important that you tell us or write it on your, on your paper so that we know which bingo board activity you're completing. Okay, you have one more day for spelling before it's due tomorrow, so keep continue that. Also, um, we are working on part one of using strategies for adding and subtracting liters and milliliters. So Miss Luciano does this video below. Remember you need a pencil and paper because you'll be pausing and then going back to play once you have your solution. So you're going to try to make sure to see if you're getting the same solution as Mrs. Luciano while you're working on your own work. Today you do have three workbook pages. So let's just look at those quickly. I know Miss Luciano actually goes over this in her um, slides. So um, just take a peek at them. She does go over them, but you're going to be, you're going to have to, you're going to need extra space and workspace to do the strategies that Miss Luciano shows you, or if you decide to stack them, um, just watch closely because she really gives some really good strategies in the videos to help you understand how to add and regroup and subtract. Okay, today we are working on seasons. Um, this lesson focuses on the movement of the earth around the sun, its orbit, which we did for our vocab science words, um, and how that affects the changing seasons. Um, in class, typically we would do this. We would have a styrofoam ball and a pencil, and then we would orbit around the sun, which is the flashlight, and you would really get a sense of that. But this video below also gives you a really good glimpse of how does this happen? How are there seasons in different times when there's summer, there's winter in a different part of the world? So you're going to watch the video. Remember, you need to log into your Scarsdale account in order to receive credit for watching the video. It also shows me how you did with the review quiz. If you really struggle with the review quiz, you might want to take it more than once so that you truly can understand the application of this concept. So some of the questions can be a little bit trickier. So you might take that review quiz a couple more, more than once. Also from here, you're going to print a worksheet that you will put into your uh, May e-learning slideshow um, for that part of the science. Okay, so you can either use this link or go straight to Heathcote Gateway to BrainPop and sign in with the G Suite. Now, your Seasons Part 2 slides, this is this will be in your um, science folder. And Mrs. Boyer goes over these steps in her video. All right, but you not you all you have the link here. You have it in your science folder, and you will see it in her video. So there's plenty of review for that. Last, here's your seesaw activity. Um, you can go right to it. Remember, use the template 
Okay, don't make a new template. Use the graphic organizer we give you and make this larger and talk over it. And all the directions are here from Mrs. Boyer to explain this activity for the day. And here is just a glimpse of what the uh, worksheet looks like. Okay, um, this you can just list it. You don't need to write in complete sentences, but you do have to um, put this in your um, May e-learning slideshow, please under the date for May 7th. Here's another smart fact. I know a lot of us love JK Rowling, so check out um, what, just check out how they, why they changed her name to become initials. There's a lot of interesting facts here. So check out the website and other pen names and books that were published um, using a different name. Okay, back to the Weinberg Nature Center. So Sam Weinstock, the naturalist at the Weinberg Nature Center, has organized a weekly virtual trip for K-5 students. And the third graders will start at um, 2 o'clock. Again, we have a conflict with music, so you might want to go on right at 2.15. So the, the webinar is designed to enrich your passion for the natural world and the animals that live within it. So here, here's a schedule that you can see for every Thursday. Um, we So mammals is this week, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and anthropods, which include like insects or crustaceans or spiders. So that's all, in, all that will be taking place on June 4th. Okay, so we hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Today, these are the animals that will be discussed under mammals. We have the chinchilla family, guinea pigs, Netherlands, dwarf rabbit, cottontail rabbit, and a domestic rat, a Norwegian domestic rat. So if you're interested in these animals, this would definitely be a fun webinar to attend. Okay, boys and girls, here's your, your checklist for the day um, to make sure to see if you complete everything. Remember, words their way, you should spend about 15 minutes. You're also reading 20 to 30 minutes of your book. Um, many of you are on your second book. So this is super important because after this, we are starting a new reading unit. So you do need to finish this next book in a week or so. Um, so two books, all right, you're on your second book. Since we skipped Wednesday, Padlet Day, you do have another bingo board activity, which is number 17 to complete. Watch the math video and then complete math workbook pages 49 to 51. Please insert them in the e-learning slideshow. Also, Reflex Math, three green dots by Friday, and we're going to be finishing up Reflex Math really soon. So push yourself to get to the 12 times table and beyond. Um, check your previous assignments. A lot of you are not looking and making your math corrections. Just like class, when we put a post-it on your math workbook and you had to fix your mistakes, it's the same thing here. If you do not try again, then you're not learning from your mistakes. And remember, we said mistakes are good because we learn from them. So look for our feedback on your slides and look for our feedback when I send back your um, seesaw activities. It's for a reason. You need to read my comments and then make the adjustments so that I can publish your work. A lot of you are not resubmitting um, your seesaw activities when I send it back to you for corrections. So please make sure that you're doing that every day. Watch the Brain Pop video on seasons, take the review quiz, and complete the worksheet and post it on slides. And last, complete the activity on seesaw. It's the Northern Hemisphere seasons. You need to include the title, like what season is it? Is it fall? Is it winter? Is it spring? Is it summer? And then you have to explain the why. So remember the why part, boys and girls. On that seesaw activity, why does it occur? So you might need to go back into your Brain Pop video to really look at those visuals of the tilt of the axes of the Earth to explain why certain seasons are occurring at certain times. Okay, so this is a really challenging activity, but this really, this Brain Pop video really ties in everything that we've been talking about with climate. So I'm really looking forward to seeing your work today and reviewing it. Um, let's have a great time at our Zoom at 11 o'clock. Come with a joke. And um, I can't wait to see you at 11 and just catch up with you. Um, so please be prompt. Mr. Casal will start his lesson promptly at 11. So come on at 10.50 so that we can start promptly at 11. Thanks so much, boys and girls. I'll see you in a bit.